Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I just want to say welcome. Please don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to hit the notification bell next to it so you don't miss any of my videos. Today I'm going to show you how I did the wall art display for my kids and if that's something that you guys want to do, keep on watching. So here are some of the materials that I already have and will be using for this project. Hammer, scissors, nails, measuring tape, twine, and clamps. I found these at a thrift store and I believe these can be purchased from Ikea. And I will link everything below under the description box just in case. So first I'm just going to measure and mark the height for the first row of the string at 46 inches. Then measure and mark the height on the other side as well. Next put the nails on the marks that I've made on both sides. Grab the twine, make a knot, and place it on the nail. Pull and tighten it and create another knot. And then trim the excess twine. For the second row of the line, I am measuring 14 inches apart above the first line. Then create the marks on both sides. Basically, I'm repeating the process what I've done earlier by hammering the nails on the wall, grab the twine, make a knot, and place it on the nail. I do apologize about the video. I did not realize that it wasn't zoomed out for you guys to see. But I know you guys get what I'm doing here. And once I realized it, of course, I immediately adjusted the video. So now let's go to Design Space to show you the decal I wanted for the wall. And I will link the names of the fonts that I use under the description box in case any of you are interested. I've already measured the width of my wall, which is 35 inches. And as you can see on my workspace, I am using the beige rectangle as my wall template and resized it to 35 inches. This way, this will give me an idea how big the wording I want for that wall. I'm not going to cut the beige rectangle, so let's go ahead and hide it. Select all of the text and group it. Since the width of the text is wider than my 24 inch mat, I'm just going to hide the text artist. Now the width is down to almost 21 inches and that's great, so let's go ahead and click attach on the bottom right panel. This way, none of the text will move when I click make it. So let's click make it. The notice above is just letting me know that one of my images is larger than 11 and a half inches and to click to continue with a larger mat. So let me go ahead and click OK. Click continue. I'm using my 24 inch mat. Place the vinyl onto the mat. Load the mat and click go. Unload the mat. Gently remove the vinyl away from the mat. And let's go back to design space and hide the text that's already been cut. And unhide the text artist and then click make it. This is a repeat process so just click OK then continue. Place the vinyl onto the mat. Load the mat and click go. Unload the mat. Gently remove the vinyl from the mat. Trim the vinyl and save it aside. Then weed the vinyl. Now 
Now I'm using a transfer tape and I'm just going to trim it. Slightly peel the backing and I like to fold the backing a couple of inches. Then place it onto the vinyl. Burnish as I remove the remaining of the backing of the vinyl. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this one. I don't need all of this transfer tape so I'm just going to trim it and save it for later. I am using my large scraper and continue to burnish. Now let's go on ahead and place the vinyl onto the wall. I am just using a painter's tape to hold the vinyl just so I can see if my placement looks okay. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as it looks pretty good. And don't worry, the vinyl is removable so you can always correct it later if the placement bothers you. I am using the hinge method for this, which is placing the painter's tape somewhere in the middle, remove the backing of the vinyl, and trim the backing of the vinyl. Place the vinyl onto the wall and burnish. Remove the painter's tape, remove the rest of the backing of the vinyl, place the vinyl onto the wall and burnish. The wall is textured so I'm just going to use my fingertips to keep burnishing. Gently remove the transfer tape. Then I'm just going to repeat the process onto the other vinyl. The text artist is slightly off from the other vinyl and like I had mentioned earlier if you're not happy with the placement of your vinyl onto the wall, the vinyl is Oracle 631 and it is removable and place it where you want it to be. Gently remove the transfer tape and burnish. Alright you guys, let me know what you think of this video. If you find this helpful, please give it a big thumbs up or leave me a comment of what you think of it. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.